Third down and a long five. Zabranski short drop, that's complete. First down, Boise State. Receiver with Dries and James. Carpenter's now the running back. They just shuffle their backs and wide receivers on every play. Zabranski downfield and incomplete. Lee Marks went up for it. On the coverage was Heaney. Set back, two receivers out to the left. On second and 10, Zabranski under pressure. Sidesteps the first rush, but he's brought down by the next man. Been the definition of a true home field advantage. The Broncos have won 20 in a row right here on the Smurf turf. Zabranski finds an open man. Bryce Mawika back to receive the punt from Stringer. It's a dandy. Coming down at the 10 at the nine yard line. He's dropped immediately. He's been under pressure all of the time because of that lack of a run game despite his big line. And there's the pressure. And he just gets it away, unloading it from the end zone, avoiding the safety. And the safety, as you can see, the official Rich Cullen indicating that he threw the ball away. Intentional grounding. He was in the end zone in the arms of Avalos as he did so. And it's two points for Boise State. Lake Press and the entire squad. That one he didn't really nail. And here's some running room for Carr. And Carr gets all the way to the 40. Lee Marks is in it running back this time, number 17. And he breaks loose. Slithering through two. And now it's Quinton Jones. Level that will do that, but it certainly creates tremendous camaraderie on this team. The tight end. Acre touchdown. California on first and 10. Beck give us to Brown. Brown in traffic and good speedy reaction by Avalos. Second down, Beck eludes the first rusher, just gets it away as he goes down and has to throw that down. And 11. Gets this one off and it's complete. That's why BYU made the conscious choice to wear the white pants instead of the blue so they could easily identify their teammates on the field, guys. <laughs> okay. Jeff Carpenter now the running back. Josh Smith gets a turn at wide receiver. Zabranski is flushed. He takes off and he can run out of bounds at the 19 yard line up here. Hellman Dollar and Carpenter lined up on the wing. Zabranski rolls that way, throws back the other way. Oh, it's the, Zabranski is the receiver. And he made the catch. Juan Carter, the running back now. They're at the five yard line. Carter, touchdown. Hopkins, Austin Colley, and Antoine Harris. Beck rolls to his right. He's got some room. He finds a man downfield off target, intended for Watkins. Payne gets a great pick, kick and backs up the return man to the 18 yard line. But Carr racing down the sideline, and he is decked at the 49. But in by BYU territory. Corey Hall gave him a good block, a 33-yard return on Payne's excellent 58-yard punt. Chris Carr slow to get up. I mean, he just ran into a brick wall. Just watch the way he attacks the lane. And watch the final hit. He doesn't care. He's going right hard at him and just gets a pop. Listen to this. Carr goes 5'10", about 180. That's a mismatch. Carpenter on the carry. Second down and four. Zabranski the give. And it's Lawrence Beatty coming from the flanker position. But again, BYU looking for that play. They think they've got it. And yes, they stripped it from Beatty. And it's BYU ball. He just coughs it up before he was actually hit. 2.14 to go in the first. Brown and Brian Manwika in together. This is Curtis Brown, and Brown gets inside the 15 to the 14. Right now, he got the effort out of his defense. That's for sure. Double tight formation, and Beck keeps it this time, takes it inside the 10 to the 9. For sure, Tahi and Brown are the running backs now. First and goal from the 9. Beck sees some running room, takes off, and is stopped short. Got down to about the 2-yard line. Double tights for the blocking. Brown, the ball carrier. Got down near the goal line. Touchdown, BYU. Curtis Brown, good second effort. 
Pulled his way into the end zone. And Jones are the deep men. And it's Jones, number 23, trying to get wide. Upfield of the 25, and then forced out there at about the 26-yard line by Matt Payne. That's one of the more active kickers I've seen in college football getting involved in making the tackle. Pinsky with Carter, the running back behind him. Play action, has time, now is flushed. He's got running room. Zabransky goes right out of bounds at the 35 into the end zone each time, recovered by Boise for touchdowns, but he knew it could well have gone the other way. Lee Marks finds a hole. He had an opportunity to get a lick in, he did. Carpenter is the setback, play action. Zabransky going deep, has a man open, it's bobbled, but caught by Onabukun, and he gets second and 10. Schumann and Weldon. Zabransky, this time he runs out of time. Jensen blitzing in. In that uh, defensive lineup that has lost a number of their starters from a year ago. Zabransky rolling this time up the sideline. It's caught complete. This one a 45-yard try. And it is no good. Wide left. First down for the Cougars. Jeff Beck out of the shotgun. Play action. Goes deep down the sideline. He's got a man open. That is Manwika. Bryce Mann went down an eighth or at the 20 of Boise State. Beck has a man. That's Wilkerson. I need to correct it was Chris Hale, 29. Not Wilkerson, 26 on the catch. And that's complete. The setback. He has the ball. He dropped behind the line a lot. Inside the three-yard line. Beck rolls. Can't go anywhere. Excellent work. It was actually the They got a timeout in before the second delay penalty, so they're inside the 10. Beck is swarmed and sacked. Led by Chris Carr from safety. Right into the quarterback, Beck. Payne for the field goal try. First down, Boise State. Short drop to Bransky. That's complete. Pickup of about six to Jason. Yeah, I'm happy to see John running around. I, that, that first touchdown, he scrambled. He made a couple plays running the football. and he John Beck, the quarterback. Cougars first down at their 29. Quickly out to Watkins. Watkins, the speedster, forced out at a five start in this game. Second down, a long four. Gets protection, goes for Watkins. Watkins has it. And a first down at the 35-yard line. Now take a look at this thing. You'll see him come across the screen from left to right. There he is splitting two guys, and he had to wait on that ball. Watt transfer from Grossmont Junior College in California. And this time they go out to Harris. Antoine Harris, he's dropped immediately. Okay. Coates and Pita, two tight ends in this time. Beck, option, flips it off to Brown, and Brown is knocked out of bounds. Let's we'll see uh, how it affects him. Double tights again. They stay with it. John Beck, and it's complete to Watkins. A nice catch. He's dropped immediately to the left. Beck option, Brown. Brown being run down, and what a tackle. Jared Hunter. He's 4-4 four four on field goals, and that is good. Man, those guys are cooking. <laughs> Zabransky, that's complete. Onabukun, Mark Onabukun. Well, there's a, a, one of the uh, BYU staff along the sidelines took the hit there and they're getting a little attention, but she's up and okay. It's tough down there. Second and one. Play action. Bransky finds his man. Nice move by Weldon. The tight end has the first down. He went to Weldon, got the first down yardage. Rolling left this time. Forced out again, and oh, what a nice job. That was John. Beyond the line of scrimmage. But because of the pressure, Zabransky can't throw it. He That's can't throw it beyond. Yeah. That is a great play. That's John Denny. Josh Smith, wide receiver in, but they keep the ball on the ground to Carpenter. From the shotgun, Zabransky. Has a man open, that's complete to Acre. Acre into BYU territory, back near the original. They've had some success in election years, but right now they're trailing. I want to come back and hear what you think about Wisconsin-Penn State. Beck for Watkins, and it is incomplete. 
running with him the whole way. 133 to go in the half. Beck is dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Another sack gun. And they get him. Beck, no chance. Austin Smith. Teams in, in the whack starting this season. They're both off to a great start. That's the one. Zabranski is dropped. Pressure from Sean. Zabranski under pressure again, and BYU comes alive defensively. That attempted lateral too late. Play was over. Drys and James, a risky 16 to nothing lead in this game, and it's been frittered away here with a good comeback on BYU. That pass complete, but again, they're, they're just starting to just show 26 seconds left from their 25 yard line. Watkins made the catch, goes out at the. No, right, but well, 20 seconds. They got a couple of passes here. Time for those, and it's Watkins again. This guy always dangerous. 32, and then 42 yards out to make it 16 13. So Beck is going to be dropped here on first down. Let's go down. Wound up. He said there's just two words, Heather, pass protection. That's all it is. We are confused by this 3-3-5 defense, guys. Third down and 16. Three wide receivers in. The shotgun for Beck. Slings it out there. It is caught, but well short of first. Boise State comes up strongly on their first defensive series. A flag down at the line of scrimmage. Carr. Carr with another good return. Oh, and again, he's hit by Payne. I mean, that's like a replay <laughs> of the first time it happened back in the first half. That's unbelievable. I believe that it came from a punter. Well, Carr's a believer now. I mean, he wasn't looking for pain this time. He gets him right now. I bet you the next time Carr has the ball. And great return, meanwhile, by Carr for this good field position. This is Marks. Marks trips over his own man, or he would have had. First and five. Broncos threatening again. Play action. Zabranski buys time with that. Goes deep. And it's caught. No, it's dropped. Ona Bakun. Mark Ona Bakun had it. Here. Ona Bakuna. Ona Bakun right there. Had it. Had it. Things that happened there. They thought he had it long enough, which we don't think he did. And what could have been maybe a late hit. Meanwhile, this is Carpenter. Carpenter digging. Second down and eight. Great drop by Zabranski. And he cannot get away. He's pulled down by John Denny, number 90. One earlier from 45. Gets a good leg on this one. Is he on target? Yes, he is. Two tight ends. Curtis Brown, the running back. They give it to him off tackle. He has a little room. Breaks one and gets up near the zip deficit to bring it close. Boise State with a field goal on the last possession. Has a six-point lead, and Beck connects to Watkins, the 38-yard line of BYU. Quick go, flare go, out, go, go. Austin Colley, another speedster. Good reaction defensively by the inside handoff, and that is just blown up by Guerrero. Flare it out here to Acre, and Acre is buried immediately. That those little mini important plays. Zabranski gets time. He's going deep. He's got Acre. Acre has it. First down to the 30. A hamstring and hasn't yet played like he has tonight so far earlier in the season. Flag down as Marks gets pulled out of back. He's one for two. And he's got that. Tyler Jones. The crowd into it here. They just want to see their Boise State Broncos come up big defensively. Beck goes deep. He's got Watkins down there, and he can't hold on. For all six of the Boise State quarterbacks. That's really, that's, that's a fascinating thing they're up to. Beck going deep again to Watkins. Watkins has it, and Watkins breaks loose. He's going to score a touchdown. 79 yards for the Cougar. And find that man as he breaks down Franklin's back paddle and then just runs by him. That ball was thrown earlier than the one that they missed a couple plays before that. Acre in motion behind the ball. Zabranski intended for Acre, and it's a battle for the ball. I think Acre made the catch with... Br Short shotgun stance, Zabranski. Downfield into traffic. It's picked off by Heaney. 
at the 32-yard line. Didn't want that ball thrown. Here's your look. Here's the Bransky. You see a couple guys in the middle of the field. You see Heaney waiting right there. Zabranski should have seen him, didn't see him, and put it up there anyway. He didn't realize there was a safety sitting in the hole. And the crowd really into it here. Keep it on the ground. Curtis Brown trying to break loose. Can't do it. Yeah. That's painful. Very good. <laughs> Time winding down in the third. Second and 14. Under pressure, he gets it away. Short of the first down, out to the 40-yard. A little bit too long. Senior from Hayward, California, started all 40 games in his career here. This time it's Austin Culley, and he's got a touchdown. The speedy freshman over Alexander, 57 yards. On first down, Lee Marks nowhere to go. That's going to go here, and perhaps uh, that string could come to an end against the Cougars at BYU, but a lot of football left. We'll be right back. The 25-yard line, Zabranski and company. The sophomore quarterback rolls to his right. Now cuts it back upfield to keep it and dives over the 30 to the 30 on. They haven't been on the field as much as they have been in previous games. And there's a catch and a, whoa, a near break for Dryson Jane. Said flat out, we were tired in the fourth against USC. Rod begs the question, which scenario do you find to be more accurate? Zabranski has got a man open and it's complete. Exceptionally good at it. Very comfortable doing it. And he fires a strike out this side to Josh Smith. Smith gets inside the 15 to the play. This is huge. Fourth and about a yard and a half. And it is Carter and he's not going to get there. Hey, watch him right there. 24 to the left of your screen. Look him showing up. Taking the legs out. Legs out from under Carter. That's a big play. Deep sideline, Watkins open. He's got it, stumbles and falls to the 40-yard line of Boise. Gabe Franklin has got beat. Doesn't show up. Watch Alexander take the chuck. He's looking for help deep. Chris Carr never gets back there. It's a blown coverage. The two of them were talking afterwards. That was not supposed to happen. Nine catches, 211 yards, and a touchdown. He may have a chance to be as good, but he is as tough right now. Just a sophomore, so he's got a lot of time to reach into those ranks. This time he's dropped. Need from him. He's 17 to 31 now. Zabranski's going to have to get it going, and he's dropped. And that's a sixth out. Third down play. Zabranski has a man open. That's Bryson James. First down out of near the 40 for them. Watkins particularly being able to outrun the defenders. They stand on the ground to Curtis Brown, and Brown is met by now trying to change something up. And he is grabbed and dropped. Lee Marks trying to get to the edge. He does down the sideline. First down. Boise State. Play action. Wide open. Touchdown, eight grade. And up here, big fullback number 34. Zabranski is dropped. Good defensive charge. Fayula, Vince Fayula, 54 yards. Zabranski's tossed for 302. Beck is running out of time. He's dropped. Eight sacks. First down, BYU at their 34. Beck, that's complete. The catch. A strange call and uh, a controversial one. And that's a first down pass from Beck. Complete to on of Boise State. Beck, and that's complete. That is Tahi. Tahi battles his way down to the 21 yard line. The cheerleading core and the team itself, the Broncos, want to get the crowd involved here. But this is a senior, Matt Payne. He's shown he's got plenty of poise and plenty of guts. 38 yarder. From 38 yards away for the win.
It is no good. Lines up 20 of 35, 390 yards, two touchdowns, the long strikes to Todd Watkins. Great game by that young guy. And both these quarterbacks are going to be heard from the rest of this season and the rest of their college careers. The victory belongs to the Broncos of Boise State.